So hello and welcome to the Mega Bread Van channel. Uh, we're off to the gasoline festival in uh, La Motte uh, Bouvon, uh, which is uh, I think to the south southeast of Orléans. So this is the first event I've been to uh, since uh, April 2019. So it's quite a big thing for me uh, to be going to something like this. Um, I'm not too sure what the video is going to be coming out like at the end. Uh, but um, I think the idea will be to mainly take photos, so I think it'll be a bit of a glorified um, slideshow, and uh, also uh, probably take a few videos of, of cars and what have you that are moving. So um, let me just explain. Uh, Gasoline is a magazine in France which is uh, it specialises in uh, classic cars. And it's a magazine I always buy when we go on holiday somewhere because it's, it's such a, an excellent uh, publication. Uh, there's lots and lots in there to, to read, lots of interesting stuff. So if you ever come across it, if your French is any good, um, then it's a good thing to read. So um, I'll catch you later. De, de gens qui font la restauration de voitures, l'aménagement. Et tout à l'heure, on va faire un, un atelier d'épanage. Hello and welcome to the Gasoline Festival. So, it's been quite a walk from the car park, but here we are at last. And it seems actually fairly quiet, it's quite civilized. But I've always taken a, a few shots, which you've no doubt seen before this. And uh, I'm going to go off and go and take a few photographs, and I'll take a few few videos uh, as and when.
<laughs> so if you look behind me you can see there's uh, yet another um, lot to look at and we've looked at all of this over here and we're feeling just a tiny bit uh, cooked because it's uh, it's 26 degrees but there's no shelter there's no so there's no shadow even at all so we've looked over there and I think we're gonna get going but meanwhile I bought myself a little model and I shall reveal that later on in the video So we're back in the car park and uh, it seems uh, everybody's turned up at the last minute to, to go and visit the event and uh, when we came out there was quite a traffic jam but uh, yeah it was a really really nice event to go to um, and uh, now we know it's there and it's not too far away from home um, we'll go to it another time hopefully next year but uh, today it's been I said earlier it's 27 degrees but uh, it's hotter than that because of the fact that there's no cloud cover and no uh, shelter, no shadow, nothing really uh, for people who are visiting. So uh, yeah, uh, I think uh, if you come and it's like this uh, next year, then I suggest you bring plenty of water, a hat, a parasol, everything you need to stay cool. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I haven't done it yet obviously so uh, hopefully it'll be some sort of sideshow type thing um, take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the video bye well it's been about five weeks since uh, the gasoline festival and we've been experiencing some extremely hot weather which no doubt you've been experiencing if you're in the UK as well and at the moment we've got thunder if you can probably hear that um, and well it's been Probably about a week and a half, uh, something like 30 to 35 degrees thereabouts, uh, apart from the last couple of days where it's been 40. And uh, we've been spending a lot of the time with our shutters closed, windows closed, and basically in the dark, trying to keep cool. Um, but uh, yeah, today is somewhat different. It's about 23, 24 it's been raining much of the time and it's nice and cool so yeah that brings us up to date uh there's been a little bit of a space between um the last bit of the video and this but i thought i'd do a, a bit of a a bonus section let's get out of the oh i've gone all dark perhaps i should put the light on yeah so put the light on and not trip over things will be good Unfortunately, we've got a lot of stuff in here, uh, which has come from house number two. And we're in the process of trying to sort everything out. So there's lots of things all over the floor for me to trip over. Brilliant. So, yeah, um, I thought I'd do a little bit of a bonus piece, because I said earlier that I bought something, and uh, it was in a white bag. In fact, it wasn't me that bought it, it was Madame Mega Breadvan. She saw that I rather liked something on a stall and off she went and bought it and uh, you know I was very pleased but also a little bit annoyed but uh, that's me uh, so I don't think it was that cheaper model because I'm somebody who loves my models my models of cars buses and what have you but uh, I don't really like spending too much money so 
I'm not saying it's really, really expensive, but, uh, you know, uh, for what it is, it's, it's probably worth it because it's a nice looking model. But, uh, so, we'll get the surprise here. And what I'll do, I'll switch the, the camera around so you can actually see what I've got. Because I think filming like this, a box, and trying to take the model out will be a problem. What have we got here? Ah, interesting model, eh? To be honest with you, I've never seen one in model form. It is a Skoda Estelle. And it's lovely. I love it. There we go, look at the detail, it's amazing. Just tilt my camera a little bit so I can film it a bit closer. There we are. So this is a model by White Box. I've never heard of them. Probably you have. But uh, yeah, beautiful model. I don't think there's any anything opens on it or anything, but uh, the detail is amazing. So that was my little surprise. <laughs>